you're watching Musty Hands Outdoors and today we are going into Walmart to buy thread to see if we can catch any fish on thread and see its performance as fishing line. So I'll let you know when I buy the thread. I want to see how thread works as fishing line. So I'm going to buy some thread at Walmart, some natural color and some forest green color. I'm going to see if we can catch any bluegills on this. I'll show you the rest of this video. Walmart thread. We caught one on thread. A perch on thread. Ooh, nice one, Rod. It's a jumbo. We were fishing with thread and we got this mess. 
huge mass. And we're trying to see if we could catch a fish with thread is a fishing line. And this perch hit thread with a fishing line. Nice. We complete this challenge. Here's what the thread looks like. As you can see, the thread has a lot of map. Does it still have a lot of memory like mono? It like balls up when you have it. Do not work very well and the line does not fit through a nice little jig nicely. And I, when it was cold out it was impossible for me to tie this jig on. So thread did not work very well for ice fishing line and I would not advise using it, but I did catch a perch out. So and I got a big knot in it. So it did not work very well at tying jigs too. And it had to be cut really cleanly with the scissors to cut any, to put through the jig I had, which I had on a different jig. I had a jig more like this one on it, which I'll show you. This jig here. And you can see the back part of it is very small. So the thread didn't fit through the jig very well. It might fit a little better through some bait that has a bigger gap to tie through like this, but it would still even be difficult to fit into a hook like this. So like, survival sets have thread for fishing line, but it did not work very well for ice fishing line, and the fish were really scared of it on the flasher when I was jigging with it. So, this challenge I did catch a perch on, but it was basically a failure. From now on, I'm gonna start doing two shoutouts at the end of my videos. My shoutouts for this video are to Papa Dave and Outdoor Fishing for commenting on my last video. To get into my shoutout, you just need to comment on the videos I post. So, and I will select two of the comments from the last, most recent video I posted, and then I will give you a shoutout at the end of one of my videos. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And thanks for watching this episode of Muskie Hans Outdoors.